Hello guys, get that and welcome to another Club America career mode video. This is episode 6 and we're moving along here progressing in the career mode and as you guys can see right now on your screens I am hiring another scout. His name is called Alex Alec Map, excuse me. Um just going to have him scout the MLS, the United States the United States section um just you know 3 months just the same as uh, Marcos Bustos. Uh, just to see if we can find any young talent, because I feel like you know the United States is a is is a t is a country that's growing with young players, and um, as you guys can see right now, I got a couple of players right here in the youth academy. Um, a couple of them seem very promising, you know. Um, others will have to see how things go, you know. In their first months, things tend to be a little sketchy on exactly. Uh, what their overall is and their potential and and all that stuff and exactly what position they can play but um you know for the meantime i'm I'm going in seeing my options here seeing exactly you know what I can do you know I got a couple of goalkeepers right there that look that look to be pretty good you know everyone's within the fifteen sixteen year old range so we're gonna wait on that and we do have a classical right here but before we do that we're gonna jump onto the league table right here 10 games played and we're at the top of the table with 25 points Santos Laguna just trailing us uh, by four points right there and Leon uh, not far behind even though uh, we haven't played them yet but we are gonna play against right here Cruz Azul and El Estadio Azul a classical joven and really we came into this game really hoping to trying to take those three points remember what happened when we played that classical against Chivas uh, you know beating them 4-0 away at their home stadium so hopefully we were trying to recap something that like that again and you know the ball kicks off right here and hopefully we can get things going really roughly but as you guys can see we're gonna move on to the minute 27 and you know not a lot of uh, damage coming through either team until right here you know take a nice header and look at this great save by Moises Munoz keeping us into this game and it's gonna be a corner kick for them but Lucy's gonna take it let's see what he can do right here he's gonna whip it in but there it is Moises Munoz catching the ball and trying to go up to a counter attack we're gonna move on in here to the 42nd minute not really anything happened it was a game that was really played in the midfield and really really uh, not that much aggressiveness by us and then some is gonna whip it in right here look at the header oh just can't get there Paola Aguilar is gonna try to pass it back to Oberlin Pineda who's gonna try to take the shot and it's gonna be blocked and that was just the whole game for us. Uh, really, just a game that was really played in the midfield. Uh, you know, Cruz Azul wasn't really letting us do much. Uh, we were not in Cruz Azul do much, so we were really canceling each other in 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 this game. Really, not not letting one team have more ball possession than the other. So uh, really, it was kind of a boring game uh, for a Clásico. I mean, tactically speaking, we were set. Uh, very good our foundation from the back to the front was actually very very well and as you guys can see the first half went with little damage done to each side and then we we'll move on here to the 64th minute right here with Cruz Azul getting the opportunity right there headering it and then Moises Munoz catching the ball and right there you guys are going to see that we couldn't get on to the counter attack and then we're going to move on to the 75th minute where Peralta just getting bullied right there uh, you know getting a little knock right there and actually going to cost us right there um, Oriol Peralta for a little bit and even though look at this great opportunity takes the shot goalkeeper saves and oof they get lucky very very lucky and then we're gonna move on right here Oriol Peralta like I showed you guys is injured I'm um, gonna tell you guys right now for how much right now and then oh Coran doing again very very well and Mike Arroyo is gonna try to take the shot goes right here takes the deflection and oof very very close oh excuse me did not take a deflection but it was just that type of game right here we're gonna move on to the 90th minute can we get anything in the last couple of seconds and you know Corona catching the ball right there you know very difficult to score in corners now in FIFA 16 uh, the goalkeepers tend to come out a lot so you really have to be crafty with what you do but as you guys can see right there no damage done to either side we do just get one point um, as you guys can see right there a contract offer right there uh, not the best of news uh, now you see right there a couple of players, uh, you know, and Oriol Peralta's out for three weeks. Yes, three weeks, our main striker. Uh, not not the best news that you want to hear right there, but I did uh, I did put um, Alejandro Diaz in for the next match. I mean, this match is against Pumas, one of the biggest matches of the season. We just played against Chivas. We just finished against Cruz Azul, and now we have a game against Pumas El Clasico Capitolino as you guys know very very well this game actually just happened not so recently long ago where they both drew 1-1 at the Estadio Azteca and funny enough we are playing in the Estadio Azteca 
And then look at this. Minute three. Pumas is going to do very, very well right there. Just touch in between all of us. Our defenders just do not know what's going on. And Pumas can capitalize that and make it 1-0. Look at this. Great football by them. Look, just cutting in between right there. Splitting our defense in half. Moises Munoz doing everything he can. But unfortunately, that goal does go in. And, you know, so much for a clean sheet right there. And then we're going to move on right here to Julian. To Benedetto. Benedetto to Diaz. Diaz is going to try to move something going. And, no, nothing going right there for us. In sixth minute, seventh minute, excuse me. Diaz is then going to take a shot. And, oh, what a great save by Picolin. And then we're going to move on right here to the 40th minute. We're going to give away a foul. Um, I'm not sure if we really needed to do that because uh, it seemed that the pass could have been somewhat controlled by our defender and Jordan Silva uh, getting a yellow, who comes in reckless a couple of times. And then look at this. Ludwanya takes it. And then, oh, I don't know what to say about that. It was a, it's a fairly good free kick. Um, I think Munoz should have done better. Um, but then again, you know, it's pretty hard. It dips. Uh, really complicated angle. And unfortunately for us, that does mean that we do uh, we do concede our second goal. And then we're going to move on to the second half right here. People in it is going to take the shot. It's going to take a deflection. And off. The goalkeeper doing very, very well to keep that ball out. And we're just, you know, unfortunate for us. Can't get anything going right here. And then the corner. And off. Again, the goalkeeper doing very, very well. We should have been 2-2 by now. And then again, another corner of Guemes. And then, you know, that was going to be easy for uh, for the goalkeeper to catch right there. And then we're going to move on right here to the 62nd minute. Can we get anything going for right here? Irvino Salas is going to wiggle and move around. Can he do something? Doing very well right there. And I'm going to just let that sink in for a little bit. When I, when I took the shot, I swore I was taking the shot straight to the goalkeeper and unfortunately that just did not happen and then look at this great football by Pumas and then Munoz doing very very well to put a hand in there and again consider ourselves lucky that we're not 3-0 down because this Puma side was really really capitalizing on the fact that we were just throwing players up front and they were really playing very very good football just like the real Pumas in real life really just playing very good right there and then look at this oh another great save by Moses Munoz and even though that was an offside right there it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, you know, say anything bad about Munoz. He played absolutely brilliant, you know, even though he had maybe a fault in the second goal. He did great to try to keep us into this game. And unfortunately for us, we were just not able to uh, capitalize on our chances. And, you know, their goalkeeper had a very good game as well. But then we're going to move on right here. Last couple of minutes of the play. Can we get a goal back just for consolation? Benedetto's going to move around, wiggle, and then look at this. Oof. Just takes a shrug down bodies him i'm not so sure what happens but the referee calls a penalty we're gonna take it but it's gonna shoot and Benetto's gonna score and it's 2-1 and maybe enough time for a comeback i don't know we'll have to wait and find out the referee blows the whistle and then puma's taking it off again and then yep no time at all it ends 2-1 very frustrating to lose our second game of the uh of the season to um to pumas you know who else but our fierce rivals um, not looking good for us, and you know, well, with only 26 points, and you know, th uh, Santos uh, just three points behind us. Um, it's uh, like I said, not looking very, very, very good at all. And then you know, uh, we have an away game at uh, El Estadio de Mesio Diaz against Toluca, and the hard part is right here is that most of my players, my starting 11, are fatigued. They're tired. You know, they've been playing a lot. They've been playing. Uh, you know, I think there was a double jornada. And, you know, it wasn't really looking good, but I had to make some substitutions right there, put in some other players. As you guys can see, there were some key players that I kind of had to sit out. Uh, but fortunately for us, you know, uh, I feel like we have a pretty good squad depth uh, when it comes to these uh, changes. And I feel like, you know, the people that I can bring in can actually step up and do a very good job. Um, even even if we're missing our star player, um, Julio Peralta, like I was mentioning. But then we'll move on right here to the 12th minute. Mikey Arroyo uh, trying to impress me right here with all his dribbling sensation right here. Just cutting in, cutting back. Don't run all the chop here. Stopping the ball there. Crossing the ball. Martin Zuniga. And unfortunately, not very good for us. People might have to, again, going to run off to Mikey Arroyo. Mikey Arroyo getting a lot of the ball in the first half right here. And then look at this. Great maneuver. No one tackles him down. And look at this. Oof. What a goal. Uh, very fortunate, I guess, and very lucky for us as well. Uh, I felt Talavera doing very, very poorly right there, you know. A very, very good goalkeeper, you know, 
goalkeeper for the Mexican national team, and for him to, you know, make a mistake like this, it's, uh, I would imagine it'd be all over the newspapers, all over the tablets the next, the following morning, but, um, Mike Arroyo, his third goal in the, um, Apertura, you know, he's coming in very handy, uh, sometimes, whether it be substitutions or, like, these, uh, when he comes in and, you know, uh, plays very good football, and then right there, look at this, off. Oh, they had the opportunity, they had the opportunity to draw level right there, um, Munoz, he could have caught it, but tried pairing it, and, you know, it was it was a mistake that almost was very, very costly, and then look at this, my defender barely gets there before the, before the attacker, and again, very, very lucky, and then they're going to come into a corner kick, and then Moises Munoz is going to catch that one, finally, we can, you know, breathe easily, and then Munoz is going to go a little crazy right here, take the ball out, and then look at this, Martin Suñiga, got what a ball to people Benedetto, and all we need to do is finish this right here, and oh, now Alfredo Talavera wants to be a good goalkeeper. Uh, very good right there for him, and very poor uh, finishing by Benedetto, but we're still not done here in the first half. Mike Arroyo is going to try to do something right here, going very good with the with the uh, cut-ins right there, but uh, that final ball to people Benedetto again. Not the best one right there, but we're going to finish off the first half 1-0 up. And, you know, I was feeling very good because after that Pumas game, uh, I wasn't very, very confident about our football. But, you know, the people that were playing this game were showing me that they could do it. And then look at this Benedetto. Oh, so close. But, yes, it's Talavera again coming to the rescue for Toluca. Very, very good football that we're playing here in the second half, even though it's early on. And then look at this. Muñez, Moises Munoz coming in with a... Big, big save right there. Very, very good for us right there that our goalkeeper can respond like that. And then look at this. Ibn Lozano getting the ball right there. What a great switch. And then look at this. Oh, what a great ball that would have been. And then look at this. El Rifle. He's going to take the shot. And then again, freaking Talavera. What do we need to do to beat him? I guess we won't find out because look at this. The last couple of minutes, you know, we got Toluca under a pretty good uh, pressure right here. They can't get through us. They can't break through our midfield. And that does mean we do get three points away. And our next game is going to be against Puebla. But that's where I'm going to leave it off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, we're getting very, very close to the, to the end. I'm trying to, you know, catch this up with the real league IMX and get to the league as fast as I can. Uh, but if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and, you know, subscribe for more. And until next time, take care.